Hi, my name is Eja Veinemönen Oxenstierna. By that you can probably guess who are my parents. Yes, that is Sweden and I'm in Finland. My geographical name is Åland, or the Åland Islands. It's spelled with an O, this Swedish letter. I am 17 years old. I am a set of 6,700 islands. Located between Daddy Sweden and Mummy Finland. And between the Baltic Sea and the Botnian Sea. It's all the same water, but different parts of it have different names. Back when I was young, both me and Mummy Finland were part of the superpower that Daddy Sweden was at that time. We were one big happy family. Looking back, it might not have been as happy as I believed it to be, but I was young. Though Denmark was here for a while, and Russia too. Uh, in 1809, however, Daddy Sweden lost against Russia and had to give me and Mummy Finland up to him. Russia is scary. Dad told Russia to not fortify me, but he didn't care. England didn't like it either that Russia had fortified me, so in 1854, during the Crimean War, he and France came and I don't really want to talk about it. So Russia was forced to demilitarize me, and I am still today one of the few demilitarized and neutral zones in the world. But that doesn't mean I can't fight. I am strong, and when I was young I fought a bit. I even captured Russia when he tried to take me over. I can still fight. I just don't. When mum became independent, and mum and dad were divorced, came the question, who am I going to live with? Both mum and dad wanted me to live with them, and finally, England told the League of Nations to decide on the question. I made sure to tell them my opinion, that I wanted to live with dad, but I ended up with mum anyway. Mum, I want to live with dad, but you can live here, can't you? You have lived with me before. But mom, I want to live with dad. But you can have your own room. You can live in the guest house in the garden. But mom, I want to live with dad. You can decide for yourself when to clean your room. You can decide for yourself when you should go to bed. What friends to bring home. What music you play. Though I might tell you to turn the volume down when I want to sleep. But mom, I want to live with dad. So now I am an autonomous region of Finland. I live in the guest town house in Mom's garden. I do decide for myself when to clean my room, when to go to bed, what friends I bring home, and what music I listen to. And Mom sometimes tells me to turn the volume down. Talking about music, I do have an anthem. It's called Ålendingens song, which means the Ålanders song. You can find it on YouTube if you search for it. I have my own flag. The blue and yellow is from the Swedish flag. And the red is an old Finnish color. My official language is Swedish. My birthday, or my national day, is the 9th of June. In 1921, an agreement that I would be neutral was signed by Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Poland, Germany, Denmark, Great Britain, France and Italy. I became demilitarized again and mum promised that he would protect me if I, if I was suddenly attacked. I'm sure dad would too, but he doesn't need to write a promise. My hobbies and other things I like. I like ships and sailing. During the 19th century, not many had as many ships as I had at the same time. All my parishes had about 40 ships each, 
and I sailed to Great Britain, America and Australia. And between World War I and World War II, I had the biggest sailing ship fleet in the world. I also like fishing. And I like licorice. I got this from my mom for Christmas. He is Santa, after all. By the way, around here, Santa comes on the evening of, of the 24th, so you get to meet Santa. First, even I thought mom had done something weird and put licorice in chocolate. But it's really, really good. And I like spending time with my family and friends. Especially that, of course. I like being with the Baltics. We spent a lot of time together. We spent a lot of time together back when we were all living in the big house of the superpower that that once was. We also spent a lot of time together when we were one with Russia. I like to play with uh, mom and dad's dog, Hanna Tamago. And I would like to spend more time with my new adopted brother that dad apparently bought off the internet. You shouldn't buy kids on the internet. But apparently it was the kid himself who put him up for sale. <laughs> mm. I think we'd, we would get along pretty well, since we're both quite small, surrounded by water, and the bigger countries don't really listen to us. Things I don't like. I don't like when mom doesn't listen to me. I don't hate him, I just love dad more. And Russia is still a bit scary. And France. And I'm not all that fond of Denmark either. Why I want to be in this. I think that it's important for you to hear the opinion of someone who is neutral and militarized. I would get to meet a lot of other areas, people. Uh, some who are countries and some who are not seen as countries. And I would get to spend more time with Dad and Sealand and Estonia. This. This is the lighthouse on the island or scary market. Half of the island is mine and half of the island is dad's. It's my only land border. Before, the border ran straight across the island. When I was one with Russia, Russia and mom built the lighthouse on dad's side of the border. Then dad found out that it was built on his side. So we decided to change the border. But we could not change the size of the parts of the island, and we could not change change the coastline. So we came up with a border like this. And that is what we use today. It is said to be the smallest island in the world that is shared by two countries. And, oh, even though mom and dad are divorced, there's this ferry that goes between Stockholm and, Hels and Helsinki outside my window. Back and forth, back and forth. Every night.